This year, the Temple Institute, together with the Women on Behalf of the Holy Temple Group, took another great stride forward in preparations for the renewal of the service of the Holy Temple, a practice for the bringing of the Omer Barley Offering to the Holy Temple. The Omer is a biblical unit of measure, and specifically, the Omer offering is a congregational offering consisting of new barley that is brought to the Holy Temple on the 16th day of the month of Nisan. This year, at the conclusion of the first day of the festival of Passover, on the 16th day of Nisan, barley for the Omer offering was harvested at Kibbutz Ruchama. Then, in Jerusalem, the kernels of barley were beaten, roasted, and sifted through 13 sieves, just as was done in the temple courtyard on this very day. Torah states, When you shall enter the land that I give you and you reap its harvest, you shall bring an omer from your first harvest to the Kohen. He shall wave the omer before the Lord for your favor. On the morrow of the rest day, the Kohen shall wave it. Torah also instructs that the first grain offering must consist of fresh barley kernels roasted in a perforated pan and then ground into a coarse meal. You shall place olive oil and frankincense upon it. The Omer offering of barley is brought from the first grain that is harvested that year. From the time of the bringing of the Omer, the New Year's grain becomes permissible to eat. The Omer offering is uniquely connected to the land of Israel and is indeed a celebration of the land of Israel. Other grain offerings in the Holy Temple may be brought from the produce of other lands, but the Omer of barley must come from the land of Israel. In the Holy Temple, a small amount of the Omer is offered on the Temple's altar, while the rest is eaten by the Kohanim, the priests serving in the Holy Temple. After the bringing of the Omer, we begin to count 50 days until the festival of Shavuot. As the Torah states, you shall count for yourselves from the morrow of the rest day, from the day when you bring the Omer of the waving, seven weeks they shall be complete. After the barley is beaten, sifted, and roasted, the Kohen is instructed to wave the Omer before God. This was done in front of the northeast corner of the altar, the Kohen facing westward. After waving the Omer at the northeast corner of the altar, the Kohen presented the first grain offering before the southwest corner of the altar. The final step of the Omer offering involved the Kohen scooping out a handful of flour from the meal mixture and placing it on the fire atop the altar. This was followed by the bringing of a single male sheep as a burnt offering. From this point on, grain from the new harvest could be eaten. The Omer Offering. May we merit to bring it, together with all of Israel, to the rebuilt Holy Temple. <laughs>